Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. Prime Minister Andrew Holness today announced that the Disaster Risk Management Act, which governs the COVID restrictions, will be lifted as of March 18, 2022. Some measures will, however, remain under the Public Health Act, and the entertainment sector will be opening back. And Mr. Holness has scolded government ministers who went to Shensia's album launch without wearing their masks, saying they will be fined and the proceeds go to a charity. Minister Grange, who, who is used to being among stars and kept her mask on, I am appointing you, Minister, to collect $100,000 from every minister who went to Meanwhile, the Prime Minister has announced that the Jamaica Defence Force, JDF, is to establish a special operations base on 100 acres of land in Warka Hill, St. Andrew, as part of strategic efforts to control the mountain range. The area is a known thoroughfare for gangs. Police investigators say Wednesday night's fatal shooting in Santoy District in Logwood, Hanover, may have been linked to an extortion racket. Three men were shot dead and four others injured at a supermarket while surveillance cameras were being installed. In sports, reggae boys coach Paul Hall says he is encouraged by the attitude of Aston Villa winger Leon Bailey, who returns to the reggae boys squad after missing the last round of matches in the CONCACAF World Cup qualifiers because of injury. In your currency trading today, it was costing $153.46 for one US dollar, the British pound sterling for $201.71, and the Canadian dollar for $121.62. In your weather forecast, Friday morning will be mainly sunny. It will be windy along the south coast. The afternoon will be partly cloudy across western and hilly areas. Otherwise, it will be mainly sunny. It will be windy across southern parishes. And that's it for the Gleaning Minute. Remember to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And like, share, and comment on YouTube. I'm Damian Mitchell.